It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Good morning, slaves. From Donald Trump publicly commenting on the size of his dick to disgusting rumors about a Ted Cruz sex tape, the race to the White House has devolved into an absolute fucking shit show over the past few months. So, to learn more just about what the fuck is going on south of the border, we recently caught up with B. Traven, an operative with the Crime Think X Workers Collective, a US-based anarchist network producing analysis and tools for revolution. Hey B, how the fuck are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. Trump's election bid has unleashed some pretty ugly displays of reactionary politics in the United States. His campaign has managed to draw the vocal support of leading members of the KKK. But despite that, it has simultaneously resonated with millions of American voters. What do you think that this says about the current state of American society? Basically, I think that Trump's success tells us about where we are in the crisis of capitalism. When things polarize, some people go looking for a, a better boss. They, they look for a better uh, authority figure to usher them through the crisis. This means blaming down the hierarchy, blaming the people who have less power than you, which is less intimidating than blaming the people who have more power than you, you know, because if you blame the people who have more power than you, you have to go to, to war with, with people who are stronger than you, who have more money, who have more guns. But of course, the, the real problem is that these structures of power exist that could put a person like Trump in the position of power that he's already in, let alone enable him to take more power by becoming president. Trump's campaign has also been targeted by protesters who have shut down rallies in Chicago and Kansas City and have taken to the streets in New York and Arizona. What do you think of these tactics? Well, I appreciate the courage that it takes for someone to put themselves in that dangerous situation to, uh, to interrupt the, the spectacle of everybody worshiping Donald Trump. You know, that, that kind of spectacle has always been important to authoritarians to dictators, you know, to, to show this sort of image of everybody celebrating the, the great hero, the protagonist, the, the great man. Um, I think it's important to show that Trump doesn't have everyone behind him and to, to show that what he's doing can be interrupted, to show that he can't control us. You know? I really appreciate the things that people are doing. Of course, the most important thing in the long run is not to be able to make symbolic gestures, but actually to interrupt the functioning of those institutions themselves. Anarchists are often criticized by liberals and so-called progressives for sitting on the sideline during the elections and failing to take a pragmatic approach to social change. Are there ways that you think anarchists can or should engage with elections outside of voting? Well, the, the most pragmatic thing that we can do, of course, is to develop our own capacity to act directly to implement the changes that we want so that we're not dependent on politicians. And historically, whenever we come up with a, a narrative or a set of tactics that actually could work to do this, the, we see the politicians run along behind us promising to to give us all the things that we've finally become capable of doing for ourselves. So if you want to have an influence on the political system, rather than canvassing or you know, trying to promote some politician, the best thing is to develop your own autonomous power. And then, then you'll see them trying to appropriate your narratives. And that about the set for this edition of It's the End of the World as We Know It and I Feel Fine. If you like raw, unfiltered news read to you by a foul mouth digital construct, you can watch hundreds of back episodes, interview extras, download our videos in high definition, or to find a link to Crime Think series on democracy, just visit my fucking website, stimulator.tv.